you start winning, winning's a habit. And um, you know, we, we, we probably have been up and down in our performances, but if we can start to win games, then that confidence grows. So when you're in a, a difficult position, you, you know how to win the close games. And that's probably where we're just lacking a little bit at the moment. And girls understanding the roles. Mark, once again, welcome back to Pakistan. Thank you. Uh, you have been with Pakistan women team before, mm -hmm. and now you are after three uh, years or so, you are back here. So, you have analyzed, uh, I guess, uh, two days are here, you have seen the girls. So, uh, have you noticed any changes that have came to the Pakistan women team, or you thought that they are still at the dead point where you left? And uh, the issue Pakistan women team has, they couldn't finish the match uh, wherever they go, like in the street or in the World Cup. So the uh, issues they have, they couldn't finish, and the uh, uh, later part of the the slogging and the hard hitting is the issue for Pakistan. So what are the plans you have got? Any instruction from the management, and what you have noticed in them? Look, the, the first part of that question is um, it's great to be back, but the other part of it is that it's so exciting to see four teams now, and I think that's a real credit to the PCB and everybody involved that we're now seeing four female teams of real quality and the young players really excite me as well as we're obviously seeing some of the senior players performing as well. I think it's very it's very important that every player understands their role so they have a clear understanding of their role. When you don't have a clear understanding of your role sometimes you can be mixed up uh, and that's where you try and do things that aren't actually in your role or they're not your core skill. So it's very very important when you get close to games that you absolutely understand your role and I think that's something that we're going to be working on understanding of your of your role and actually doing your role to the best of your ability. Uh, well, uh, welcome to Pakistan once again. Thank you. Uh, you are alleged of having a heated argument with then uh, Chief Selector Jalaluti. What exactly happened at that moment? And uh, we heard in reports that you have a meeting with PCB officials where you threatened to uh, resign from your post and they said that you, you go ahead. So what exactly happened? Uh, I'm not sure, I can't remember, it was 39,655 hours ago. But what I do know is that I still keep in touch with Jalal Udeen. Did you drive here today? Did you drive in the car? Yeah. Oh, you didn't? Because if you drive your car, you normally look at the big screen, not the one in the back. So I think we've all got to move forward. Sir Jalal, I keep in touch with a lot. And I know that he's doing a fantastic job in America, and I know that he still comes to Karachi. So, you know, you always have disagreements with people, but at the end of the day, you've got to move forward. And this is about moving forward and driving with the big screen and, and not looking back because that's the past. And, you know, Sir Jalal, as I said, has done a wonderful job for Pakistan with the woman when he was here, and we had our very successful team. You're not always going to agree with people, but that's okay, that's life. Um, but the great thing is we've become pretty good friends, and he, and he texts me and often gives me some advice and, and, and what he thinks, which is, which is fantastic. Nita Gar was recently appointed to Pakistan's captain, so how do you look forward to working with her and what was your opinion about Isma and the previous team management? Oh look, I think they've they made progress, they've been making progress. We saw the game against India where, you know, I was watching as like everybody and on the edge of our seat. Um, but they just couldn't get over the line. Uh, and, and Isma is a wonderful player and I'm so pleased that she's decided to carry on and not just, you know, give up the captaincy but also carry on as a player because she's She's a great player, and, and I don't think we've seen the best of Bismar, but we will, um, and and I'm looking forward to that. And already we've seen Bismar develop her game in the domestic series and also those exhibition matches. So I'm really looking forward to seeing her be free of the captaincy and and, do a, and play a part in this team. As for Nita, she is she's a competitor, and and we like that. We want that, you know, and, and uh, she'll she'll do a great job. We all know that Nita's going through a pretty tough time, and our thoughts and prayers are with her and her family. But um, when she's back and when she's ready, I'm really, really looking forward to working with Nita. Yeah, uh, my, welcome back to Pakistan. Shukriya, thank you. Hello. Uh, my question is, uh, Pakistan men's team has going to have uh, a role in selection. So did you have your role in selection or do you rely on uh, selection committee? Oh, no, that's the selection committee. We've got four fantastic selectors. We've got Asmavia and Marina who have played at the top of the female game. Uh, Sir Salim is obviously paid history, we all know about him. And Sir Mutisham has also worked in the women and, and done a fantastic job as head coach. So at the end of the day, it's not really up to me, it's up to them. And obviously Nita will play a part in that as well. But 
the less pressure I have on me, the better. Otherwise, I go faulty. I can't think too much. So I just need to coach the team and do the best that I can with the team that we've got. And whatever I'm given, you're given, and you just get on and do your role. But if I on the, uh, what about the Julia Khan? He's a sideline after uh, two and three years, and she's not happy for uh, your uh, coaching in the last two and seventy. What about you? Oh, look, I, I don't know about that. I had a chat to Javeri yesterday. Actually, we had a good long chat at the ground, and um, you know, I think she's she's obviously fighting her way back. She hasn't had such great form in the last year or two, but she's she's a good player, and I watched her today, and she looked a lot freer and. Um, and, and look a little bit like the old Javeria that we know. So, you know, she's 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 playing, and that's great. She's got a chance of selection. Again, I'm not involved with the selection of the team. So, um, Javeria, I, I thought was really good today. When I saw she was involved in the game, she was helping the captain out, and she looked like she got a little bit of her spark back. She's 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 a great. She's been a great player for Pakistan, and I'm sure if she gets selected, she'll continue to be a great player for Pakistan. Last question for Rana Khanim. Okay. Uh, uh, we have uh, seen recent discussion around that match cricket to have uh, data driven strategies and to, to use match up. Do you think this can be adapted in uh, Pakistan women set up and are you in favour of using data and matches? Look, I think other teams are using it. I think uh, your eyes are pretty good. I'm, I'm lucky because I've got four eyes, so I'm pretty, pretty lucky. I use these, these glasses to help me out as well. But I think it is playing a big part as well in the team. Uh, and other teams around the world are, are using obviously a lot of data and um, I don't think it's the be all and end all but I think it does help you know understand where we need to bowl certain players or, or plans moving forward. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. That's it. Thank you.